Do you want to know how we have improved Candela Studio with our new features in version 19? Then stay tuned! Hello, my name is Tatjana Tunge and I'm Product Management Engineer for Candela Studio. In this video, I'd like to show you the highlights of Candela Studio version 19. Candela Studio is often used to create AutoSAR basic software configurations. As AutoSAR does not support all the data constellations that are allowed in Candela Studio or ODX, it is important to support the users in the creation of valid DEX data. Inconsistencies should be detected as early as possible because a late correction is much more expensive. Because it is more difficult to map occurring problems in AutoSAR configuration tools back to the root cause in the authoring tool. A consistency check has been available in Candela Studio for a long time and it supports the users in creating consistent data by checking for unique identifiers, qualifiers and so on. Since Candela Studio 19, the extended consistency check can also analyze documents regarding the compliance to UDS, AutoSAR and Vector Microsar. In case of violations, errors and warnings are shown in the output window. When running the consistency check via the ribbon menu, via the F9 key, or when starting an export, the new extended consistency check is executed. Since version 19, it is also possible to run the consistency check via the context menu on a specific variant, a diagnostic class, or a diagnostic instance. The extended consistency check can be configured for each document separately and always applies for all users of the document. At the ribbon menu, check consistency, configure consistency check, the extended consistency check can be activated for the document and rules may be deactivated individually. For experts, it is possible to force running all rules via a tool option, even if individual rules are deactivated in a document. In general, the extended consistency check makes a diagnostic workflow more efficient by ensuring high data quality at an early stage where it is typically easy to fix potential problems. It offers flexibility by configuring rules individually and provides the option to add customer-specific rules on request. More rules, for example for OBD and AutoSAR Adaptive, are going to be implemented in future versions. In UDS, the I.O. control service 2F can be used to control multiple parameters. The optional Control and Evil Mask record, short Jammer, allows disabling and enabling individual parameters by setting single bits in the mask. The rule description in UDS is rather complicated and manufacturer's practice diverges. So the challenge for the user is to configure the mask correct. With version 19, Candela Studio can now easily generate the Jammer bits for the user according to the UDS standard. The generated control enable mask record can still be edited manually. The AutoSAR Diagnostic Event Manager, short DEM, collects statistic information about DTCs and provides this information within the extended data record to a client. In Candela Studio, specific data types represent predefined DEM values. By assigning these specific data types in Candela Studio, the DEM can process them automatically. But using these specific data types has been optional until Candela Studio 19. With version 19, we have added an option to force using the predefined DEM values in a fault memory diagnostic instance. When this option is active, the selection of available data types is limited to the predefined data types and the configuration options at the extended data record are reduced. Additionally, the consistency check reports the use of other data types. We have implemented many more improvements in Candela Studio 19. Especially, we have modernized the user interface of several dialogues, such as the file options dialog, the DTC pool, the variance list, and so on. The new UI allows comfortable editing on the right side, replacing the former model dialogues. It allows editing multiple objects using multi-selection in lists and several more improvements regarding user convenience. These were some highlights of Candela Studio version 19. As usual, you can find a complete list of our improvements in the release notes. You can also find the release notes directly in the help, including hyperlinks to further details on each feature. We hope you like our new features and goodbye. It wasn't so bad, was it? Okay, then subscribe to our tech tutorial channel and hit the notification bell. We have more videos on diagnostics and tutorials for many of our tools. Hope to see you again with the next release of Candela Studio.